Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Engineering. This is where I'm building various ships, stations, spacecraft and whatnot in Kerbal Space Program. And today the focus will be to build a Minmus orbital station for a specific contract that's supposed to meet a certain requirements which I will be going through shortly. First of the requirements would be that it has generate its own power and that it can house 19 Kerbals. And as always, I'm over engineering it a little bit. Second would be that uh, it will be able to have a facil have three pilots on the station, has will have communications capabilities and will have the Coppola module, which I have put as the root part. So. Without further ado, I'm putting in some, you know, passengers, uh, hitchhiker containers, and I'm putting some solar panels on top of the cupola, and then we will be figuring out how the hell to launch this monstrosity. I mean, I've launched bigger things, so it's not really that much of an issue, but um, okay, let's put in the Kerbal Engineering System chip. I do want to have it for telemetry, delta V readings and whatnot. Then we had a requirement on the communications array, I believe. Okay, uh, then we will be putting the photovoltaic panels. I prefer the three times two for the initial stations. They give an impression of a, something grander or something. And then I'm going to be putting one, one times six on the SAS belt. Right, let's see, uh, I'm thinking yet another... Where is this? And we have to have docking ports as well. And I'm thinking of docking, putting docking ports onto this uh, cargo bay, or yeah. So if I put them on the cargo bay, that pretty much means I need to move the antennas, but that's okay. Clampatron docking ports, two pieces, there we go, for future extensions. And we will need to have a total of 6,000 units of uh, liquid fuel on this station. Whether or not that will be possible in this launch, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll need multiple launches, but uh, this one is at least to get this station core part up. There we go, two SAS units, then we'll put some RCS thrusters, just in case we need to go all out and just, you know, move stuff around, so why not? It's good to have them. Let's rename this to Minmus Passenger Station Mark 1. Perfect. Okay, then it, we're followed by a decoupler. And where is the fuel tank? Oh, that's the fuel tank. Nice. Is it the old orange fuel tank? Mm, feels like it. Okay, I need an engine. Let's see, Wolfhound or Mainsail. Are these two only options? I'm going with my Mainsail then. All right, and then let's see if we can cram in another tank. Two point. 15, that's 198 atmospheric, that's good enough. Two and a half thousand delta V, that would be a good stage to get this monstrosity all the way up to Minmus. No problem whatsoever. Now, when we come to getting into orbit and all the all other jazz, that's a, a whole new ball game. But uh, let me give a quick experiment. How would it look like if I placed a bunch of tanks with Nervous? Would I get a better fuel economy out of it? Let me just quickly check. 856, and if I set up fuel lines, 1.8. So it's definitely not better, and thrust-wise it's most definitely not better. So, yeah. After me seriously considering on uh, raping English, yeah, I should probably be trying something better. Okay. So let's put these boosters. I really like these boosters and I've gotten some requests to actually do the Soviet style launches. I won't do it from the Baikonur Cosmodrome KSP location, but I will do it. I will create a rocket that looks a little bit, you know, Soviet style. 
So, precision propulsion, and for that one I needed four separatrons because those are cool. Now, let's place this uh, engine here, six times symmetry, come on. But first I want to attach 1.8 gray and orange, orange, perfect. There we go, now we're getting into orange and gray colors. There we go, and now I need an engine for this bad boy. Kodiak, no. Wolfhound, no. Bobcat. Yeah, you sound like a great candidate for this one. Perfect, let's just position it a little bit closer to the center of mass for the entire tank. Okay. Close but not cigar, as they say. Right, now, I want to be putting six symmetry of these. There we go. That looks a bit more Soviet now, doesn't it? Okay, stick it, perfect. Now, what I want to be doing is we have six separate or six decouplers and six uh, separatrons already on these tanks. And I want to be placing additional separatrons on those tanks as well because these uh, separatrons that are already on the tank are on the top side, meaning they will help the rocket detach, but uh, there is no guarantee that it won't flip and hit the rocket again. So I would prefer to have additional set of separatrons firing up and making sure that these rocket stages get away. I'm sorry a little bit. Yeah, I guess maybe I should put up an epilepsy warning for this uh, janky movement that I'm doing here. It's uh, two and a half times accelerated because I wanted to keep the overall episode at around 18 or between 15 and 20 minutes. Uh, and uh, let's be putting now the fuel lines. So, yeah, stabilizing fins, but fuel lines I tried to go with, you know, uh, two by two pairs, but as you can see, I'm not good at that. So I'm gonna go one by one. Traditional style. Yeah, you're, you will be feeding into the main stack. You shall be feeding into this rocket. You shall be feeding into this tank. Then you again shall be feeding into the main stack, correct? you shall be feeding into this. So we will be going for the asparagus staging, obviously. And I need some, uh, well, more struts, I believe, because I would prefer this uh, rocket not wobbling around like wet noodle. So, yeah. There, there goes that. Right, let me see. Uh, right, so uh, let me see just quickly. Separatrons, we need to, we have moved the decouplers into the correct uh, groups. Now we need to do the same with the uh, separatrons. You go, you go, you don't go, good, you, let's see, for you to... Let's see, Let's see, uh, separatrons, separatrons, yes, you go, you go. I mean, it's a little bit fiddling to discover which separatrons need to fire, which ones don't, but uh, then again, it needs to be done, so. It's a little bit of fiddly work, but soon enough, we're done. All right. All right. 
Okay, now let's decouple this and maybe we add uh, one top, one uh, other stage on top of it. Sort of like a mini transfer stage, like this, followed by an engine. Wolfhound. Yeah, sounds about right. Then we put these at the bat bottom and uh, I think that looks rather well, or looks rather good, sorry. My English is not, English is not my first language, so yep. Yeah. Okay, fixing up the staging, that gives us 5,167 meters per second. Uh, now, let's see if I add another fuel tank. If it works. Yeah, this one put it as an orange and then we change. Now let's put this tank and now we change the color. This looks better. 5,617 and that should be suffice, sufficient to get us to Minmus. What you'll be witnessing now is just my brief investigation into the insanity where I'm actually just trying to see how would it look if I had Nervous assisting. I do like my Nervous because then I could uh, pro probably go with, uh, you know, different type of fuel and stuff. Now let's see fuel efficiency here. Nope, it's not better. Nor thrust, nor... So, what about which two? Nope. Let's move this away. I think the thrust and thrust weight maximum will be fine, and the total delta V should be fine. So let's put in the launch clamps and proceed towards the testing, shall we? Now, let's put the action groups. Group 1, solar panels, let's toggle them. Group 2, antennas. Let's give it a try. 3, 2, 1, SAS on throttle to max and let's kick this one. Everything seems to be moving, except the rocket is wobbling like a wet noodle. Okay, that's something that we need to improve. Jebediah, how are you feeling? Is it wobbly enough for you? And whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Clearly, we have some points to improve. Back to the drawing board. So, what would be the correct Kerbal way to fix this? Add some more fins. There we go. Problem solved. That would solve the problem of uh, the spinning, but not the wobbly problem. We'll fix that one later. Let's check. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. One. Oh, this is annoying. And watching it even at a three times time acceleration, it's really annoying. Second, and come on. Third, will ya? Okay, but it seems stable enough now. So we do have authority over everything. And uh, is it stable enough? Yes, it seems to be stable enough even past everything okay so from that perspective this should be enough to put us into orbit let me just see how much delta v we will have and that will help me judge in terms of do we have enough to go to minmus or not minmus is less delta v intensive than moon but then again 
Still, it doesn't hurt to check. Okay, get ready to burn and let's kick the engine. Hey Jeb, how are you doing buddy? Alright, and then we finish up with almost 2000 meters per second. I mean, if that's not enough to come to Minmus, well, I don't know what is. That should be almost enough to get to Duna. Right. Screenshot. Perfect. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Let's add some lights for some, you know, finalizing touches. And then I want to be adding uh, some more struts to make the whole thing a bit more stable and less wobbly. And to do that, I'm going to use a trick. I'm going to put small octagonal struts, which I'm just going to be strutting together like this. There we go. Look at this. Three, two, one. Let's kick this pig. Yeah. Less wobbly on the top part. Still wobbly to a degree at the bottom part. Okay. A few minor corrections needed still. Let's see if we can put those here and then connect them. Maybe not. Let's see, what if I put it up to here? Now this is, the, the final part is just messing uh, with uh, these, with the struts. Nothing too smart about it. Okay, so they have a maximum length that they're willing to fasten things. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, this would be the ideal case, but it doesn't work. Let's put it here. Okay, but uh, only one of them works. Can I put these somewhere here? Oh, come on. Let's see, uh, if we pull this one down, okay, still no, still it's only this one. How about if you connect like this? Okay, that seems about right. So, okay guys, that's the final test and then uh, I will be launching this one in this Friday's uh, episode. So, do leave a like if you like the episode let me know what you think about the series so far in the comments below and i'll see you all in the next one thank you very much for watching this is gromforks signing off